Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan. Look at another Ever GI Joe video. This time we're talking about Ever GI Joe Classified Series, Hasbro's six inch line. So really cool, some images that they had shown us off have all been pretty much released. They did release a Storm Shadow, just not this version, which is of course the version we all want to see one of these days. But all these other ones have been released. So first things they released was the exclusive G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes figure. If you want to pause it and read up on everything that comes with this particular figure, you can see it over there on the right hand side. Look at all those weapons, the backpack, different hands. This one has more of a brown pants and straps around his arms. And a greenish brown, I guess. Because of that back stand there as well. And then his visor is actually silver on this figure. There's some nice promotional images of him. So figure number one, and if you notice, every one of these boxes actually has a figure number on it. So at the very top, you see this is figure number one. We have Roadblock from series one, the one man wrecking crew. Nice promotional art here. Got this huge cannon that it comes with. And here's some great artwork or some photos of this figure. Notice his left knee has a gold knee pad on it so figure number two we have is a second snake eyes figure and if you notice on this second snake eyes figure the visor is black and so are the legs and the um, straps around his chest there so it has nowhere near as many weapons with this nice images here of the figure in action and there's your comparison of the boxes for each of the six inch snake eyes figures the exclusive versus the figure number two next we have figure number three which is the destro figure brilliant weapons developer and businessman got that gold gun the other gun with a scope on it and the briefcase Shows you inside the briefcase has the keyboard and some money up in the top there, like they're going to blow something up and he's getting paid for it. Next figure number four is the Duke figure. He's the squad leader. Got that scar across his right hand eye. The rifle. The scope he's got there. We call it binoculars. Also, he's got a backpack and a handgun and some nice images looking at the binoculars there that's pretty cool you see he's got the shovel on the back of his backpack nice close up of that next we have figure number five in wave one which is the ultra intelligent field operative scarlet our first female in this way. There she is with her crossbow, her arrows, and her three knives. And some nice images of her. I don't know about you, I'm seeing a little bit of freckles on her face there. Love these images here. Close up of that crossbow, her belt, her strap. So here is Wave 1, Joe's, 4 against 1. And Cobra Commander Karen Destro, 
blow it up. Of course, Commander is not part of this wave one, but those other five figures were. So wave three, which is the Zartan and the infantry, is also giving us repaints of those original wave one, Roadblock, and Scarlet. So that's interesting. I thought they were just re-releasing, but they're actually repainted. So here is the comparison up on the top right of the new one, from Wave 3, compared to the Wave 1 Scarlet. And you'll see the difference in the thighs. I think the hair is even different. And maybe the face sculpt might be a little different. A little bit more detail in a face sculpt. I have to see it whenever we get a much better image of this figure. But still consider figure number 5 in this wave. Here's your nice up close comparison of the two head sculpts. The darker red with kind of the blonde streak in the front there is the newer version. And so if you look at the face sculpt, the face sculpt is actually the same. They just did so much better on the painting, it looks like. And then you look on down, you see the differences in the gold versus the brown, the gray versus the brown. And then on the shin guards, not having the blue on this newer paint scheme and then the shoes don't have the red on them on this new paint scheme and also on the gauntlets there's no blue on it on the newer paint scheme and then you look at the sleeves and the stomach area you have a darker color black versus the lighter blue that was on the original and here's the back of the figure as well bow and arrows look the same but you can see a good shot of the the different colors of the rear there. And then here's your difference in your roadblock. Top right is your Wave 3 repaint. Notice the pants are completely different. Don't have that gold knee pad or the gold boots anymore. And also missing that gold up top on his straps there. And the gun, instead of being silver, is now more of a dark gray gun. And also repaint from wave one, we have Duke. And you know the original had the gold. This new one has more of a silver and green look to him instead on his knee pads and his shin guards. It's about the only difference that I can see. Yep. And the guns are different. The guns aren't as painted well. Uh, they're just plain gray, looks like. And then we have a Snake Eyes repaint as well. And also a repackage because if you notice the one on the left which is the original up beside the sword there was a knife in the package on this newer one there is no knife in the package it's actually in his sheath proving that it can actually fit in the sheath like a, a lot of people were complaining it couldn't now what is the other difference so notice on the original there was a red dot above the visor on this new one that red dot has been removed that's the only difference we can see so here are all four repaints of Wave 1 that we've got so far in package. Courtesy of Dan Hu, here's a nice shot of all four of the repaints together. So speaking of Cobra Commander, here he is, figure number six in the Wave. This is the more dark colored costume that he came with. Has that silver gun and sword, different hands. Got that cape going on in the back. Nice close up of the sword and the gun. And if you like this helmet, let me know. I don't specifically like the sculpt of this helmet. It doesn't really remind me of the original. But then they did a network exclusive, which ended up being a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, which was the lighter colored costume, lighter color blue. Comes with the gold gun and gold sword. I kind of like this one better myself. Let me know what y'all think. There's the back of the figure, back of the package, side of the package. It's figure number six, and this is figure number six again. So it's interesting they didn't actually renumber this figure. So you got two figure sixes. So there is that same image of Commander telling Destro to blow it up, and then a nice image of the artwork for the G.I. Joe's kind of showing what we're going to get and what we pretty much did get. Everybody but the, of course, the vehicles, which we need to get, and the alley vipers up at the top. 
So here's figure number seven. We have Gung Ho, the fearless jungle specialist. Love that he's got the open jacket there showing the tattoo off. His hat actually comes off. There he is with two of his guns. There he is with his hat off and his mohawk. Got a big old backpack as well, of course. There you can see him with his hat off. Kind of got a little bit of hair on the top of his head. Has his, what do you call that, a Fu Manchu instead of just a mustache. And the colors are green instead of that aqua color. But there's all the accessory he has from the back as well with his hat on. Like I said, really cool figure. Very large figure as well. Next we have figure number eight, which is the Red Ninja. Those white eyes. All kinds of weapons go on with him. So here's your first army builder. Protecting Cobra Commander, the Mercenary Ninja Warriors. Nice shot of the weapons all stored on his back. Like I said, army building time. Next we have a exclusive figure number nine, Cobra Commander, SDCC exclusive, exclusive for the Snake Supreme Cobra Commander. It's got this awesome box that opens up. Got the world in his hand there. More gold weapons, got the huge cape, soft goods. There's the back of it, stepping on the world. There he is, where you can see him on the inside of the box, how it kind of slides open. Really cool looking figure. But again, he's got that same mask issue going on where he's kind of down and around his face, which doesn't bother me as bad on this one because it's a completely different type of figure. Next we have figure number 10, which is a Target exclusive, Special Mission Cobra Island, Wayne Beachhead Smeaton. We've got that beret on his head, that you can take off of course, got the crossbow, several weapons, all green. Kind of wish they had put some color to those. Got that black back, uh, excuse me, backpack. Here he is taking it off, showing it off. really interesting is that this right here this figure or this character isn't even on a lot of the gi joe website for hasbro so this one kind of came out of nowhere wasn't expecting to get him so here's beachhead did not realize that there was a running variant you see the brown eyed version on the left and then there's a blue eyed version on the right it's hard to tell in the packages there but they are different next we have another target exclusive special mission cobra island Roadblock, so it's our second Roadblock figure. Hands with that same cannon, uh, but this time he does have some nice sunglasses. Communication device on his ear, got that black uh, camouflage look to his shirt. Showing off that tattoo really well on his arm. Got the bigger beard on this one, I like that. Here he is with Beachhead, back of the package on all these Cobra Island Target exclusive figures. Next we have figure number 12, the Cobra Trooper, which is also a Target exclusive. The helmet comes off, the goggles come off. Really nice figure, another army builder here for us. And very hard to find. So here he is, got his weapons, got his backpack. There he is with his goggles on, his goggles up, his helmet off. Lots of different choices for us. I like the way he's got his gun stored on his back there. And our most sought after, which was one of the hardest to find, Baroness with the Cobra Coil. Very first figure, second female in the wave. Figure number 13. Love this motorcycle. Got that snake as a gun on her arm. That's really cool. Got the helmet you can switch off. Love Baroness. I hope they re-release her one of these days because I never was able to find this one. There's the back of that box. Of course, it isn't going to be different because it's a wider box. Showing her in her gold gun. Leaning against the bike. There's that snake on her arm. 
and her with the helmet on the bike. Love Baroness. Next we have an Amazon exclusive figure number 14, Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. Really, really want to get the other Storm Shadow. Here he is where you can take his hood off. You can see the black underneath it. Got the bow and arrows, sword, grapple hook. Got a Prophet Director Destro. Got that nice cape, the burning money. Everything gold this time instead of silver on this Destro. Another briefcase with him. This was a little bit higher in price, figure number 15. $25 instead of $19.99. Got the glasses he can take off. The cape actually comes off as well. Got the briefcase again. Money in it. Keyboard. Love them glasses. Look at them glasses. Those things are crazy. The back of the cape there, like the leopard print. So we finally got our G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie figures shown off to us. So yeah, Snake Eyes movie, very disappointing. Just in my opinion. And as you can see on the shelves, these figures are still just sitting there. And there he is himself. Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins from the Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest 2021 event. There he is with his helmet on, got his sword drawn. Out of package and with the package there. Got the knives down there at the bottom. A little closer look at that. And then we have our Storm Shadow classified. Got that scar on his eye, looks like. Got the mask on as well. Got his swords. There he is, loose and with the package. A little closer up. This is figure number 17. Snake Eyes was 16. Here we go, showing off a new figure in the movie, a Kiko. Packaging here, got all kinds of weapons with her. Here she is, she's figure number 18. Then we have Baroness. Got the glasses that can come off, a couple swords, a gun. The collar around her neck. And then we got Scarlet. Scarlet doesn't look too bad. Got that chest armor there, crossbow. Not much in her package there, it's very empty. So what do you think about those five figures from the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie? And here's all five loose and in package. So here's the side artwork for these movie figures. Nice artwork. And it is figures 16 through 20 in the Classified series. Alright, I'm counting this because it is still a Classified figure even though it's not counted towards it, but it is a Fortnite Snake Eyes. You can see all those crazy accessories that he comes with for the Fortnite game. But this is actually one of the coolest looking snake eyes that they've done so far. There you are close up on those accessories. Crazy guns, grenades, you got his sword there. Some kind of a belt there that goes around him with the grenades. Back of that package. And here's how the package opens up. Very similar to the way that Cobra Commander did. So nice display and setup there with this Snake Eyes figure. So next we have a couple more Target exclusives. You have the Special Missions Cobra Island Firefly figure. Comes with that drone, some dynamite, goggles, backpack. 
There he is with his goggles on the head, using a control to fly the drone and the dynamite to drop it off. That drone does store on his back as well. Nice close up of that drone figure. And his face sculpt actually has a little burnt. Uh, he's been blowing himself up some, so that's pretty, pretty good detail there. There's the side of that package. Artwork done by Jeremy Wilson. And another Target exclusive, Cobra Island, is the Cobra Viper, another army builder that is probably going to be extremely hard for the majority of us to find because of the scalpers out there. Got that backpack, the scarf, the goggles. I like the way those goggles store on the top of that helmet. We can just change the figures up, make them look different with these army builders. Love the way that clip comes out of that gun there. There's the side of the package, the backward artwork done by Anthony Petrie. Next we have figure number 23, so we skipped a lot of figures. Here is Zartan. Got the face sculpt there in his, in his backpack. Loves the way this Zartan looks. Got a scarf around his neck. He is bald, so when you take the hood off, you do see the bald-headed Zartan there. Master of Disguise. Nice artwork on the back of the package there by Tony Daniel. So yeah, Zartan figure number 23. And you can see the artwork on the back of the package did change, adding Zartan to it as well. Beachhead's on there too, so that's awesome. Firefly. And then we got figure number 24, which is the Cobra Infantry, another army builder. Very similar to the Target. I'll show you a comparison here soon. Doesn't have nowhere near as many accessories as, a, as that Target exclusive one did. Getting his butt kicked. But then also taking Duke captive. Nice shot of the side of the package. Artwork for the done by Kike Kotaki. And then, as the dynamic duo they said, his cohort, Lady J, comes with two different head sculpts, or hair sculpts, I should say, one with a hat and one without. Backpack, spear, really cool that they gave us all these options. And of course, when we were talking about the dynamic duo, the majority of us thought that we were getting the twins, Zamax and Tomax. But we didn't. Hopefully that'll be a two-pack one of these days. Maybe our first two-pack that we get. Nice shots of her in action. Spear gun. Tip in her hat. You can see there's storage in the back of her backpack there for some of her weapons. And here she is, the dynamic duo with her and Flint. Taking on Zartan. Up. Oh. But oh, there's a trooper behind him. Next, we have what they called the dynamic duo, which really threw a lot of us off. But it is Flint. There's your nice shot of Flint with that beret taking it off. Got that scar on his left eye. Got that awesome shotgun there. Don't know what figure number Flint is, though. Neither did I know for the Firefly or the. Viper that can't wear target exclusives. You can't see the top of the box, so I don't know what number they actually are. But nice shots of him and his camo here. Taking that shotgun, looking like you can actually load it. It actually stores on his back as well. Great images here. Lance, one of my favorites. Look at the hair, the way it's slicked back and shaved on the side. Flint from the back there, you can see he's added to. And Lady J. So really cool how they're actually upgrading the packages as they go. The first one is the very first wave package, showing off what they had in the original wave. And had a few teases there. Second one shows even more added to it. You got the Firefly and the Viper, also Zartan and Beachhead added to that second one. And then the third image on the right there is adding the Flint and Lady J, and also you'll see at the top, Major Blood. So here it is zoomed in, you can see them all. 
So the biggest one that had not been revealed until recently is the Major Blood, of course. And there's the sides of the package showing this is figure number 27 and the front of the package. And some really nice artwork of the side of his head there with the mohawk or whatever that is. So excited to get, if I can hopefully get my hands on, I've not got my hands on any of the Cobra Island target figures yet. So here are some more shots of the Major Blood, showing his dog tags, his different guns, his helmet on, the front of the package there, Cobra Island. Helmet off, all the different accessories he does come with, two awesome looking guns. And here is some nice promotional artwork or shots of the Major Blood figure. Helmet off, on, putting the gun in the holster, firing. And here is the side of that package. There's your artwork showing the side of the head shaved and showing him with the helmet on with that nice eye right there. Nice backpack in the back as well. The first thing we got was a heavy artillery roadblock. Got that nice massive Gatling gun. Got the camo colors on this time, just like the original roadblock release in 84. And here's some nice images of him. Helmet on, helmet off. Holding that Gatling gun. Got the straps up over his shoulders. And it is up on Amazon if you haven't gotten it yet. Not sure what that symbol is on his helmet there. You guys have to help me out in the comments if you know. Holding that Gatling gun, you can see that barrel comes off the Gatling gun with the uh, ammo in it, so you can load it back in there. Next, we have our two pack of Snake Eyes and Timber. It's going to be 40 bucks. Alpha Commandos here. S Timber does have two different head sculpts. Snake Eyes has multiple weapons there. There's the artwork on the back of the package, I guess, or on the side there. Got the knife. Got the scars on Timber's face there. You got the two different guns. Another gun. I like that new face there with the Timber angry. And then we have another Cobra Island Special Missions. This is barbecue. Barbecue kind of had leaked on a target leak a long time ago with Major Blood and Flint and Scarlet or um, Lady J. And I think uh, Zartan too was on that leak. So good to finally see him out. Got that backpack, two different axes. His blowtorch there, I guess. Hopefully they're going to stock some of these Cobra Islands better with this. There's the package art. Here he is in some action scenes. You can see the axe can hook up on his uh, backpack there. He also has one that can hook on his side. The gun can too. But here they are, have a major blood beat him up, which stinks. So yeah, Cobra Island barbecue here in package with all those accessories loose there. One of my favorites. And here's some nice image of him. You can see all the accessories can actually stay on his body. So that's cool. I like the way Classified X makes their stuff store. Awesome looking stuff. Now here's our Cobra Island Special Mission Breaker figure with the Ram Cycle. Yo Jo June showed this off. There's the artwork. Got his beard, his helmet on with the communicator. Sidecar there with the Gatling gun, which he can also obviously take off and use himself. So yeah, the back of these packages for the Cobra Island are kind of boring. It's just got a map of the island. Um, so it's not as cool as the other artwork, in my opinion. But uh, there you go, those Cobra Islands were Target exclusives. And there he is in action or Calm, calmly standing beside his ram cycle. So that's it for the Fan First Friday for June 4th. And the four reveals for the classified. 
All right, so check this out. Hasbro Pulse exclusive Zartan figure with color change action. The front package there actually has the ability to swap heads on it, so that's pretty cool, a little round thing. Awesome. And there's the different colors, the white versus the color change. And again, you get the little spinning wheel right there on the package to let you switch the faces on the front of the package. And then there's the back of the package. We've seen that artwork with Zartan before in Flint. Interesting. Lady J's been moved now. She's not up there beside Flint. You swing up in the front of the package, and there you see Zartan with all of his little face sculpts there and all of his weapons. This Zartan is so much better than the original, in my opinion. And there's the different face, so you can see them all at the same time. Figure number 31 in the classified line. There's a different mask you can put on, plus his, his uh, hoodie. All the weapons in action there. It can be snake eyes, it can be storm shadow, it can have some kind of skull mask on. And all those accessories in the package. So there's your comparison between the original Zartan, which is much darker uh, colors for his costume, versus this new one. It's got the lighter silvers on it. Showed off the bat figure, and oh my gosh, I loved this. This was my army builder. This is what I wanted. I did not have a bat as a kid, but neighbors did. And a bat was one of my favorites, especially in the cartoons. So you got the chest plate that can come off, different head sculpts for him, arms that can be swapped off as well. So here's the bat in action. There's the artwork for him. And this did not disappoint at all. Figure number 33. Flamethrower there. I would have, the only thing I would have said would that have been, I'd love to have seen some actual uh, flame effects come with this flamethrower. That's the one thing Classified has not done is little effect pieces. Alright, so they started jumping into Tiger Force. So the first figure was Outback. And interesting enough, Outback has gray hair here. Got the orange Tiger Force shirt on, stripes on his pants. There's the artwork for the package. Of course, Tiger Force is going to be Target exclusive as well. And there he is, figure number 39. You can see his backpack there holding a shovel. The back of the package artwork has changed again for the Tiger Force versus the Python Patrol. And there he is all laid out. Still have not gotten any official images of him with the clear background yet. Here we go with another Viper. And this is a Python Patrol Viper. Again, Target exclusive. Figure number 42, you can see the back of the artwork is just like the Tiger Force, except it says Python Patrol instead. So there those two are. Figure number 41 in the classified line. There's different faceplates there on the chest. And there's the Python Patrol fight in the Tiger Force that we got right there. Alright, one of my favorites of 2022. You got Spirit and Freedom. And this one did not disappoint when I got it in hand. Got the different wings for Freedom that can lay down or spread out. Backpack, the rifle, two knives. There's all the accessories he comes with. Really great looking figure, puts a little brightness to the shelf. Also, one of my top of this year was the Storm Shadow we did get. He does have a hood, all kinds of accessories that'll actually hook up to the backpack as well.
Check out all those shots. So there's those two figures. So yeah, Storm Shadow and Spirit. Probably my top two of 2022. And then my top three would be also this guy right here, Croc Master. Massive croc that's actually articulated. Got the chain that'll go around the neck. The whip. Got the hook that you can actually hold in his mouth. Check out that artwork on the side of the box. Comes with a knife as well. Got the breathing apparatus on his back. Check him out holding the hook there in his mouth. Got two baby gators that comes with it. There it is in package. So it's a deluxe box. Figure number 38. Awesome looking. And this guy's massive too. Kirk Master, one of my favorites, has a vintage three and three quarter inch. So this was definitely a must. Showed off the Alley Viper. Got the mask that'll go up and down. So again, this is one of those arm builders that was out there. Got that massive shield, and that shield's got that little little uh, targeter there on the inside. That's really cool. There's your artwork showing how much of an armor builder this is. Mask up, mask down. Really cool figure. And there it is in package, figure number 34. All kinds of accessories that come with him and they can all hook on him too. And there he is with the next tease. I think we already talked about him though, the bat. So yeah, there's figures 33 and 34, the Alley Viper and the Bat. There they are together too. And that's the flame that's effect I'm talking about right there for that Bat piece right there. That'd be awesome. Also, the Cobra Officer was shown off. Got kind of a lighter looking blue and then that lighter color uh, Cobra symbol there. Look pretty much the same as the, uh, the um, infantry. I'll show a comparison here later on about all, all three of them. There he is from front to back. Got the helmet on his head. And the case on the back there for his gun. And can actually hold his clip. I didn't even re recognize that. That's cool. There's all the accessories it comes with. Two extra clips there. Knife, gun, scope. And again, the back of the artwork has changed up a lot more. This time you have the Storm Shadow and the the uh, Snake Eyes right there in the center piece. You got your Croc Master on there now. Awesome looking. Spirits on there as well. Nice artwork here on the side. And there's the package. There's the two figures together. I cannot wait to get these in hand finally. So figure number 45, Zaymont. Two artwork can actually combine together. That's cool looking. And here is Tomax, figure number 44. There's that artwork we had for him compared to what we actually got. This was definitely celebrating the 40th year for G.I. Joe. Love this battle scene right here. There's his artwork. I don't like too much myself. There he is in package, figure number 46. In the back of the package. And they did not add any of these new guys to this artwork. They didn't add Stalker or Crimson Twins to this artwork. So yeah, this is the first time they've actually given us blast effects, finally. There's the package, 47. 
plasticless front package there. So here are the Zorana, Crimson Guard, and Dusty for the next wave. Zorana in package, figure number 48. In action. Cannot wait to get more Dreadnoughts. We'll talk about that later too. Here we got Dusty. Can take his head cover off there from the desert. Got his backpack, his scope with his rifle there. Nice artwork on that one. Goggles only on. Headgear with goggles on. Here's a Crimson Guard. There's that artwork. Of course, this is another army builder for us. Okay, sword. I guess, as you can see, his backpack can hold all his weapons as well. Again, there you can see it's an army builder. And here's the other set. Have not been put up for pre-order yet. But you got your target exclusives for your Python Patrol and your Tiger Force. Here's your bazooka in package. And here's artwork. Cannot wait to get a regular bazooka though. Now here's an interesting thing. Rakondo, figure number 55 in the wave, was never put in three and three quarter inch that I know of. Here's his artwork. And here's your Python Patrol officer. Now here's what I want to talk about with this one. They're saying that this is an officer. There's the artwork. Again, it would be an army builder for you. All right, here's Kamakura in package. No plastic. So starting off that no plastic stuff, figure number 61. I think this is gonna be an Amazon exclusive. Here he is in action with and without his mask on. I don't know much about Kamakura. Here's Kamakura in package. You can see these plastic free in the way it looks. Again, no plastic. Figure 57. And they got the alternate heads there. Pretty cool looking heads there. And then another Tiger Force this time with a vehicle. We have Duke teased here. Wasn't sure how it was going to be released until a little bit later on. We see that it actually is going to come with a ramp cycle as well, painted up with Tiger Force, which again was never done in the original. So there you go with that ramp cycle. And Duke. Front and back of the package, again, the plastic. This is a Target exclusive, I believe. Cool artwork. Here's our Dr. Mind Bitter. Now this is going to be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, or it is one. You missed your pre-orders back on July 20th, 2022. Ugh. Hopefully they'll release it again without all the accessories maybe. But yeah, this is awesome. Mind Bender was one of my favorites. There's the package. How it folds out, shows all the accessories all spread out. Back of the package with some crazy new artwork on it. So that's great designs for these classified figures. Got his bats in the background there. Creating them all. Alright, so here's some nice shots of mine bender and package. Got the slipcover over it there. Back of it also, you can see slipcover, nice new art for him. Without the slipcover, same art. 
inside the package you fold it out and you see all the weapons and everything accessory wise laid out right around Mindbender. Here's some action shots of him playing with his lab. Here he is from all angles, beautiful mustache and the eyeglass there over his eye, soft goods esque cape. And all those accessories he comes with. Got his baton and a gun. Loving this butt. Again, plastic free. There he is without his helmet, without his glasses, without his hat. And with his little tiny axe figure on a card. Timber's more of a white color with some scars on him. I don't like that as much. But I do definitely like that head sculpt. Again, plastic free packaging. He does come with a scarf as well, just like um, Stalker did. Nice shot of the inside of the package here showing snake eyes and timber plastic free. That face looks amazing. But again, here's the actual pictures. You can see the snake thing can go up and down or on and off. There's the packaging. Now guys, this is going to be a PulseCon exclusive, so this will be limited just like the Mindbender was, so that's going to be kind of scary for some of us. But definitely this is going to be joining my collection if I can. But yeah, really awesome looking. And this did sell out very fast. I love the air chariot. And they said that those two guns right there actually will come off and be held by any Joe you want to, or Cobra, whichever. And that that fan actually does spin. Comes with a cobra there. And if you notice in his hand, he actually has the cobra that he straightens out and throws through uh, Duke's heart. There's that packaging. This should hit us in December, hopefully. But yeah, that artwork is amazing. All right, some more of the official images here. So Pentor and all his accessories in package. Package open up wide. You can see all the accessories on the side. You cannot see the air chariot in there because it's in pieces, I guess. Again, with the slip cover there over top. You see it from the front and the back. New artwork for him as well. Shots of those accessories. And the wonderful air chariot. I'm loving these vehicles. Yeah, here it is, package Serpentor and Air Chariot, slip cover, front and back, without the slip cover on it, front of it, you can see where you can fold it open right there in the middle, you can see Serpentor, here's from all angles, again with the soft goods. Staff there. And here's the air chariot. Oh my gosh. So amazing. Serpento on the air chariot. And our grunt. Next reveals pipeline we have is going to be a ripper figure from the Dreadnoughts. And another Firefly, so I'm not sure what the difference is going to be between the original Firefly and this new one. Here is the artwork. Again, she has black weapons this time. And there's the actual card, front and back, showing a tease of two shadows, which we can tell are gung-ho and we think is Destro at the time. But also you can see that there's a Lady J there. So there she is. She also comes with a figure stand. Her weapons are silver this time. Front and back of the card. 
And guys, let me tell you something about these cards once they finally came in hand. They are flimsy, very thin cardboard. So there is the stand that she comes with. So there he is in package. You can see that black weapons in the black briefcase. Front and back of the figure with the figure stand he comes with. So there he is, bald head and all on his retro card. So there's those four that we finally decided to reveal with retro cards. Boom. Them on the retro cards as well. Just out of the blue. I had no idea. So there's your Zartan. Kind of got some blue colors this time. Front and back of the card. This time they took off the ladies and showed just the four guys. And here's our Storm Shadow. So good looking. But again, these cards are not going to stand up the test of time. They are crap. They are so thin. And the fact that they took another Storm Shadow out this quickly after the original that we had in the uh, classified line is kind of crazy to me. But he's one of the top Joes I would have wanted on a retro card anyway. Official shots of these last two vintage card figures here. Crimson Guard and Snake Eyes. So you can see the card from the front, all the accessories, the figure stand, and from the back as well. In action. And here's the Crimson Guard from the front, the accessories, the figure stand. From the back. And in action. So that puts us to eight retros already. We do not have any shots of Snake Eyes and the Crimson Guard on card yet. So here we go. HasLab showing us off a classified G.I. Joe. What in the world could it be? It is the Cobra Hiss. Wow. Yes, Cobra Hiss is our G.I. Joe classified, and it did fund. So we'll talk about that here in a second. So there we go. Early bird fund, uh, funding uh, before July 6th, which that's all gone. We definitely have funded it. So anybody who has funded it already will be getting a extra figure. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. But as you see, within the first couple minutes, we already had, you know, 46 backers. No big deal. Within the first hour, we had 1,600 backers. Two hours, 2,600 backers. Three hours, 4,300 backers. Already over half right there. This is a $299 project for this Hiss tank for the G.I. Joe Classified HasLab. But as you see, with shipping and taxes, it ends up being $344.54 or $345. So $345, plus hopefully we're going to be getting all the unlocks. We'll see here. And everything for our His Tank. Now each one of these are supposedly going to come on their own cards as well. The figures that is. With their own numbers, I guess, in the classified line. They also had a reveal the first day showing that we will be getting a Hawk figure. Of course, this is not the figure, but we will be getting a general Hawk figure sometime in the future. And also a name reveal of Tripwire. So we'll be getting Tripwire and General Hawk in the future. Don't know what they're going to look like yet. Name only reveals. We have Snow Serpents coming, Buzzer coming, and a female Cobra Trooper that will be coming. So some cool little reveals there, especially with a buzzer to get some more dreadnoughts. And then Snow Snarf would be cool to go against Snow Job. Alright, so here's your cover girl, Courtney Krieger. Her accessories, her shotgun, her wrench, her phone there, I guess. Different artwork for this one. On the back as well. Here she is in action. And what the box looks like, plastic free. 
all angles here of the figure. Next we have the Mad Marauders version of barbecue here. See all the same accessories he came with before. This time he's got the blue and green colors. And here he is in action. Next we have the Crimson Bat. Plastic free. Front and back of the package, you see it comes with the same accessories. And here he is in action. Now we have Stuart Outback Selkirk. This is the regular version instead of the Tiger Force. So he's actually got his red hair again instead of the gray. Front and back of the package. Survival on the chest, all kinds of accessories. And in action. And then we got our Falcon figure here. Package from all angles. In action here with and without the beret on. Got the shotgun, the backpack. And here he is at all angles here. Got a nice little announcement here for name reveal only. Getting chuckles here soon. Pipeline reveal. They also revealed the Shadow Tracker and Mole Rats were coming. Name only. That's what the Shadow Tracker looks like in the old toy. And Mole Rats, I have no idea. Got a Steel Corpse 2 pack with jet packs, blast effects, and male and female figures. And we have Quick Kick, Big Boa, and Mutton Junkyard. So those are definitely three of my tops that I was wanting to see. So I'm excited to see those in the G.I. Joe Classified line sometime soon. We also have the version 2 of Firefly with a different kind of camo decoration, deco on him. Uh, Wasp SMG, he's got a detonator, and then he's got a remote control car as well this time. Night vision for him as well. And we have Shadow Tracker. He's a poacher, he's got the head skull, uh, the skull head, the clear mask, and he has the jaguar skulls on his shoulders, so really cool weapons here for this guy and looks really good. So these figures right here are $24.99 each. They're called mainline figures. Here's Copperhead in his package, all angles. And he has the straps on his arms are removable. And he's got a scoped pistol holder, that's pretty cool. Here he is in action. Would have loved to see him come with a water moccasin. So here's your bazooka. Figure package all angles. And the accessories he comes with. In action there. Here he is in action, like I said. Helmet on, helmet off. And here he is loading that bazooka, but check out the background there. Yep, that's the tease for figure number 66 right there. The Python Patrol Crimson Guard. So here's Torpedo's package, all angles. All the accessories he comes with, which are a lot. him with his gear on. And here's some great shots of him in action coming out of the water, taking his gear off, leaving it behind him. Awesome looking shots here, especially floating through the water. Right, so your shipwrecks package, along with Polly. Here he is with and without the hat on. Polly on his wrist, Polly on his shoulder, all the accessories he comes with, on and off of him. And here he is in action. Be nice to get this little chain right there to go with the anchor. So you can figure that out yourself, I guess, guys. His rock and roll in package. All his accessories with and without the helmet on. 
tattoo on his hand there. It's like a smiley face skull. I like that he can lay down like this for his gun. Got the walkie. Tattoos all over the arms. So there's that full wave of the mainline figures. The scrap on figure is $44.99, figure and pet, front and back of this package. All the accessories it comes with, and the action there with, with the helmet on. And with it all, check out all those accessories. And here he is in action. Drone firing off. And the effect pieces of it. Now these deluxe two packs, like I said, are $54.99. This one is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive with the Cobra Valkyrie Army Builder. All the accessories they come with. And in action, look at that army building set right there. All kinds of different options you can have for these figures. This is your Deluxe SKU, $34.99, single figure with a ton of accessories, snow job. All the accessory does come with. Again, this is an exclusive as well. Here he is in action. Got the scope rifle there, skiing down the hill, walking through the snow. Check out all those accessories, that's awesome. And look at the background, guys. We got some snow bats that look like it's coming, maybe. And during the Walmart 2023 Collector Con, we have the Big Ben and the Range Viper here. So here's that Range Viper, figure number 76. All the accessories it comes with. Back of that package. Front of the package. Here's an action. Got that skull with the brains kind of sticking out looking. Army build this guy if you want to. And here you have Big Ben. Night Force. Again, this is Walmart Collector Con. Got the mask there for breathing. And the package there, front and back. And here he is in action again. mask on so here's HasLab showing off on June 5th it was funded within pretty much 24 hours I believe but it's Operation Dragonfly there's your Wild Bill with and without his hat on so he has an extra wig underneath the hat and a regular wig too you got the glasses you can take on and off extra guns there for the holsters and you can actually take the vest and the holster off as well and he comes with a knife William Wild Bill Hardy. 13,000 backers needed for the Night Force Ripcord figure. And there he is with and without the helmet on. Got the extra guns and everything. Wallace Ripcord Weems Paratrooper. And that was unlocked. Boom. Unlocked with 13,000 backers. The next tier is going to be Jane and Glenda Mulligan. She's a helicopter pilot. That's going to be at 16,000. We've kind of stopped once they showed this one off. Some more shots of the copter from all the angles here. There's your Glenda with and without the helmet on. Got extra wigs there to swap out the head sculpt. And there's our three figures so far for this Haslab. If we can unlock Glenda at 16k. So here we go with the Python Crimson Guard. So this is Target exclusive. You can see him from all angles here with all the accessories he comes with. Into 
action as an army builder here. So not a bad looking figure there for target exclusive Python Patrol. Also another target exclusive is the Tiger Force Dusty, figure number 65. You see all his accessories he does come with, two different sets of goggles, one for the helmet, one without the helmet. Get the paint across the face there. Here he is in action. Dodging some fire. Got the goggles on, off. Got his rifle there with the stand. Here's a shot of what Dusty looks like in his package as well. Again, those are Target exclusives. They went up on June 1st. You got the Fan Channel exclusive Cobra Arctic Bat. So this was teased a while back in one of the pictures of Snow Job in the background. Nice little digital rendering going around and around here with the Arctic Bat. I love that chest piece right there. The face mask as well with the blue, aqua blue in there. Got a chainsaw on his arm, a rifle, different chest plates on him as well. Again, this is Fan Channel. Originally went up on Amazon, but it also went up on Big Red Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Again, Army Builder here. You can see the saw on his arm. Got the extra face mask there so you can look in the distance. Got the battle damage look. The rifle with the scope. Look at that blue, that looks so good. There's all those accessories it comes with. And then we have our Televiper and Cobra Flight Pod or Trouble Bubble, which is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Back to the package, figure number 79. A digital rendering of it turned around, got three different head sculpts it comes with. So good. Again, it was a Pulse exclusive, went up for pre order yesterday, June 1st. Shots of him with his different head sculpts on for army building. The trouble bubble itself with the rockets on the side. Army building, nice. Front and back there. Lots and lots of accessories with this guy. And there it is in the package from the side. All right, so here we go with figure number 83 with Tunnel Rat. This is going to be a mainline retailers. You can find this thing anywhere pretty much. Got all the accessories there, front and back of the figure. Got the satchel across his shoulder. Gun that can fit right in the holster on his chest there. The lights that will come out of the backpack, the knife, and the night vision goggles there they can crawl through. Got the knee pads on. Got the stand for his rifle. A little 3D rendering roundabout here. Coming into action, got the backpack off, seeing what he can do with the flashlight. Got the night vision goggles on right here. From the back, showing that backpack on his back. Next we have a fan channel exclusive, Desert Commando Snake Eyes, figure number 92. So this has never been made before. You see all the accessories it comes with. I'm not sure what's going on on the back of his head there. Somebody explain that one to me. Got the grenades on the belt, the extra sabers there, and the brown guns to match the sand. A little 3D rendering of him. Him in the sand, got the Silencer on the gun. Ready to go get that Viper over there. Jumping into action, holding the sword there. Looking really good in these shots. 
And then we got an Amazon exclusive Army Builder. Figure number 81, the Cobra Eel. And this thing sold out fast. So there he is from the front and the side. Got the accessories, the helmet on, helmet off, the spear gun, the breathing apparatus, the fins. I love it. A little 3D rendering of him. Is an action mask up, mask down. Got the spear gun. You can see army building right there. And then look at the back of the backpack. You actually have some like uh, propulsion there too, so that's cool. So you got three figures revealed for the first week of Yojo June 2023. From the backs, from the fronts, no accessories. Packages, plastic free, of course. From the sides, 81, 83, 92, and then from the backs. So yeah, three great reveals. Two we did not know anything about, so that's pretty cool. Yo Jo June. Alright, let's celebrate some more Yo Jo June with June 21st, 2023 reveals with low light here. Here's a little nice rendering of him. Round and round we go. Got the case there for his rifle. It's awesome. It breaks down. It fits right in there. It's got the backpack, the goggles, the uh, toboggan on the head. So there is the box. It is number 86 in the classified line. And there you go up close with and without the goggles on from the back and all those accessories. So what a great figure here. There it is with all the weapons in the case. And just waiting on his mission. A little roundabout here of Grunt. Got his helmet, his three guns, knife, his helmet, other helmet there, and his backpack. Also got a device on his chest that'll fold down. We'll see here in a minute. There you can see the box. This is figure number 87 in the classified line. Robert Grunt Graves. There you can see right there on the right hand side figure with his helmet on. You can see that little, little piece of equipment that folds down on his chest. There he is looking at it. He's got one helmet on right there. Grabbing his knife. And there is the other helmet on the ground and on the head. And lastly we got a nice little army builder here with the snow serpent which is figure number 93. This is deluxe, has all kinds of accessory. All three of these are mainline figures so they're not exclusive to anywhere. I love that he has the board there, snowboard. And also I love the fact that he's got that uh, that mask right there, the Wolf on his head. That is awesome looking. Figure number 93 in the classified. Snow serpent there. All the accessories. There he is snowboarding. Got the wolf head on. Awesome looking. There he is loading his rocket launcher without his gear on with his gear on, tracking somebody. And there you can see your army building capabilities. Shooting his rocket off. And then snowboarding, that's awesome. All right, so time for comparison time. Here are all of the snake eyes that have been released so far. Now notice I have the red version one versus the no red version two, because those figures look exactly the same except for the head sculpt. So I didn't put both figures here. I just showed the different head sculpts for that Wave 1 Snake Eyes. But there's all of the other Snake Eyes that have been released already in this classified 6-inch scale. Here's the three Destros compared. The four cover commanders. And again, my far right one there is the classic one I would 
haven't been wanting so bad. The four roadblocks. The four Cobra officers here, or infantry, or troopers, whatever you want to call them. So again, there's the light color emblem versus the red emblems on the infantry versus the officer. Our three Scarlets, including the movie one. Our three Dukes. Three Zartans. Four Storm Shadows. Now I got five here just because one's got the hood up, one's got it down there for the the uh, original classified figure. Our three Baroness figures, including the crappy movie one. Two Lady J's. I do have both of the original classified with and without her hat on on the right there, compared to the retro. Our two Gung Ho's. Again, I got four pictures here because two shows him with the hat, two shows him without the hat, just to see those comparisons. Our Crimson Guard. Our barbecues, get the regular and the marauders. Here are all of your bats. Our vipers. Our ninjas, red versus blue. Outback, tiger force versus regular. And our Ram Cycles. And here are our Bazookas so far. And here's your original and Tiger Force Dusty. Alright, so here is the list in order of how they were released, minus the Cobra hits there at the top. But figures 0 through 15 here, when they were released, how much they costed. Here those are in package. And here those are loose. Now I do have, which wasn't on the list, the repaints of Wave 1 with Duke, Roadblock, Scarlet, and I don't have the extra snake eyes on here because, again, it's just a difference in the red line on his mask. Here's figure 16 through 34. That includes the movie. All right, so this shot actually has those four repaint releases of the Wave 1, plus it has the Fortnite snake eyes on here. Got your five movie figures, which are still sitting on shelves. Need to go on sale. Got your Zartan. Both Zartans, but the um, Hasbro Pulse exclusive Zartan. Color changing. Here are all those are loose. Again, minus the repaints because they were on the first slide. Thirty-five through fifty. All of them in package. And loose. one through 66 missing 65 here and like I said 66 hasn't really been revealed so there they are in package and loose
what we know so far for 67 through 77, plus the render reveals and the his tank and also the character reveal. Let me Warren package here. And more loose here. So here's the ones we see renders already of. Here are the character name only ones. And everything for our his tank. Now each one of these are supposedly going to come on their own cards as well. The figures that is. With their own numbers I guess in the classified line. Then we have our retros. We've seen this picture already. And I do have a lot of most wanted so let me go through all those. I definitely want the hooded cover commander, a wetsuit, deep six with his shark, Alpine, Naga Hyde, and Clyde the Warhog. Those are definitely wanted figures. I want the Cobra La, Nemesis Enforcer, Globulus, Pythona, and the Cobra La Royal Guard. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And with Globulus, please give us his little hover, whatever the heck that thing is. He looks freaking awesome. Whenever they revealed that he had his big old long tail after he got out, that was amazing. Please give us the rest of the Dreadnoughts with Torch, Buzzer, Monkey Wrench, Xandar, Thrasher. With Thrasher, I definitely want the Thunder Machine as well. Zanzibar and Road Pig. I know there's more, but these are my big guys right here. I'd also love to see a regular version of Rakondo, Ace, Blowtorch, Wild Weasel, The Heels, Law and Order, Metalhead, Cesspool, and Leatherneck. Now these are pictures from the Hasbro website of stuff that they still not given to us with Doc, Helix, Ripcord, Sci-Fi, Wild Bill, and Jinx. And for the villains, uh, we have the Road Pig, Sand Scorpion, and Torch from the Dreadnoughts. And then now that they've done my one of my top ones, which was the His Tank, here's my next vehicles I'd love for them to do. The Vamp and the Triple T for Sergeant Slaughter. Definite must for our vehicles. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments, hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you already, that thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.